Okay, hi, what's going on guys? Uh, my name is Vineet Joban Putra and today we are in Surat, India. Surat is the uh, second cleanest city in India. It's located in the state of Gujarat and it's in the western part of India. Mainly what we're doing here today is we're going to begin our journey into the diamond manufacturing process. Well, I'll give you a brief tour and explain you how a diamond goes from being a rough diamond coming straight out of the mine to a polished stone and uh, we will be looking at the factory and facilities of uh, Punjabi Diamonds Manufacturing Private Limited. So let me move on to the next step. Before I begin the tour on the diamond manufacturing process, uh, we here at Sangavi Diamonds do not endorse child labor and we work with what is called the BPP or Best Practice Principle, meaning we get our diamonds all from legal diamond sanctioned zones and there's no blood showing these diamonds for all you who have seen blood diamond. As we begin our tour today, uh, I'll be showing you how rough stones such as these, this is how a stone comes out of the mine and it comes to us. These are all rough stones right here. So basically today we'll be covering how a rough stone like this will turn into something beautiful after the process is finished into a polished stone like this which uh, might be in either your finger or the, your wife's finger one day. Basically right now we will uh, start the step one of our process uh, we're in the cleaving department right now, but uh, before we go on, uh, I just want to give you a brief overview of the company. Sandavi Diamonds is a diamond trading company side holder and manufacturer, meaning uh, De Beers is a company that owns 80% of the mines in the world, and we are one of the few fortunate companies to receive this site directly, which enables us to offer the best prices and quality uh, customer service assurance. So, let me just move on to over here. These are a couple of the key people in our company. Nishit Bhai, Tanvir Bhai, and uh, Kumar Bhai over here. So as we move on, just a little bit over here. This is what uh, basically what Nishit Bhai is doing over here. He is taking a look at these rough diamonds and each rough diamond yields a different quality. So he is adjusting it according to the quality because not all diamonds are the same quality, thus not all diamonds are the same price which is why you pay more for one stone over another. So right now, he is assorting these rough stones into different patches and later on, what he will do with these patches, Tanvir Bhai is doing right over here. You can just come a little close. He's basically marking the inclusions on the stone. Inclusions are any impurity that is in the stone, so it needs to be taken out. For example, a piece of rough that he has over here. Can you just show us on your open palm? He is a stone like that will yield at least two, three polished stones of good quality. So he has to mark it and he has to adjust around the inclusions so we can get the best bang for our buck. Okay, basically uh, this is step two of our process. We basically came from upstairs. They made a uh, plan around the stone and now we'll see how latest technology is incorporated into planning the stone out. So follow me right over here. All these guys, very hard working, all day, every day. Mm. Okay, basically this machine is known as a helium planning machine. If I can see this for a second. The stone that I showed you upstairs, this is a rough diamond, is basically placed on a holder right over here and is coated with a uh, whiteout or a whitener so that the inclusions inside can be seen properly and uh, let me just show you how this machine works this is all uh, Russian technology by the way so he just places the stone in beam it on okay right. right over here as you see with the software he places the holder on and uh, he will begin the scanning. Scanning will be cousin to the user. One. Scanning channel karam? Right, thank you. Thank you? Right, channel. Okay. Rotation, thank you. This, as you see, the stone is rotating inside this machine and uh, there's a camera right over here 
which shows us that stone uh, lasers are checking the stone out from everywhere and as you see right now all the cracks on the stone have been labeled by the machine it's a great technology that uh, the Russians have created and all the inclusions are marked by all of these guys working over here so they have a pretty hard job because every crevice every inclusion every facet on the diamond on the rough stone has to be marked by these guys